Hi students. This is a STEM school, as you know, and we like to talk about things of true and uh, really important scientific nature. I want to talk about one of those topics today, which is zombies. Now, I have a beef with zombies. I think they're scary. I think they're great, but they don't work. I can tell you a little bit about why they don't work, and that's thermodynamics. So we can explore a lot of things with respect to zombies, but thermodynamics is the biggest problem. So let's talk about the matrix for a second, because you've all seen the matrix. People were batteries, okay? But even that doesn't work. I got some numbers here. I gotta look at my sheet. Your body constantly wastes about 100 watts. So unless those bodies were somehow shrink wrapped with thermoelectrics or something, you're just wasting all that extra heat. And the amount of food that's necessary or calories that are necessary to keep a human body alive is about 1,000 kilocalories a day. And that's like 48 watts if you do the math. So there, we're wasting 53 watts every day that, uh, that, that we don't have. So we'd have to add that back in. So it would never work. Zombies are similar, but zombies have an additional problem. They move. And so in addition to just keeping a zombie body alive, you've got to be able to move and you've got to be able to shamble and you've got to be able to bite through people's brain cases. <laughs> And they eat brains, and brains are not really terribly nutritious. They're really high in cholesterol, unbelievable, like 900% of your daily recommended cholesterol intake. And calorically, they're worse than beef. So as a zombie, you'd have to eat like a quarter of a brain every day just to make enough energy, enough calories to keep you from just falling over. And the other thing to remember is there isn't somebody out there making new brains all the time. People are getting converted into zombies. They're running out of brains to eat because zombies don't eat each other. So really, in the end, all we have to do is wait. And they're gonna run out of the energy required to keep their bodies functioning, if nothing else, just held up against gravity. They'll just be lying on the ground going, ah, and that's not really scary. They'll just wait long enough, camp out someplace with some food, and they'll all just fall over. And those are the slow ones. If you go to like your World War Z zombies where they're running around all over the place, those guys are gonna burn through calories at a crazy rate. They're never gonna survive and they'll die out that much quicker. So we don't really have to be afraid of zombies. We just have to remember that science ultimately is gonna cause them all to die out and we'll be fine. Now that you know you have science by your side, are you ready to solve the zombie crisis? As a human or a zombie, you'll rotate from room to room, participating in challenges and earning points and teams for each activity. Live scores will be updated throughout the day if you are successful in the challenges. You'll study the neuroscience behind zombies. Participate in a Dungeons and Dragons-like challenge, identifying the skill sets necessary to defeat the zombie crisis. You'll use skills epidemiologists use to identify the source of the zombie outbreak. You'll use math skills to make sure you're prepared to go to your zombie hideout with the necessary equipment. Finally, out in the woods, you'll practice orienteering in order to find some hidden materials. There will be new dangers around each turn, but as Mr. Grundon says, Science gives us nothing to fear.